What's up guys, this is the Brave and I am back to bring the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United States. So to run off where we left off, we found ourselves able to isolate and destroy a Maratha stack individually. So considering the, considering the number of forces on the table, we want to do this as efficiently as possible. And it'd be quite nice if we could knock out this chap with this first army, then potentially send the reinforcing army, through in good condition, over to isolate this stack. That may draw in these guys on the road, but if they do, they'll also draw in our reinforcements from Kabul. So that's my immediate plan. So let's crack on. So they've got a solid artillery, but once you're all geared up with advanced artillery shells and advanced firing drills, this just outlasts. On a one-for-one -one basis, it can just outlast anything the Marathas throw at it, because their infantry, qualitatively, is just worse, so you don't have to worry about stacks waiting to come in. Okay, so let's assume... Let's put some artillery up on this... up on this ridge. Let's put some more artillery. Oh, this is a lovely little position here. Back here. So because it's just an individual fight against one stack, I'm more happy to deploy my infantry in a in front of my guns so i had this discussion with uh, one of the people in the comments recently about why why i always seem to deploy my guns in the line um, and that's mainly because i like to well it depends primarily on whether i feel i need that firepower in the line so against the marathas you get that feeling a lot because you are just against so many troops. But when it's a one-on-one -on -one scenario like this, I feel like my my, my normal my normal uh, amounts of firepower are adequate. So I don't need these guys firing cans to shot into the into the mass. Actually, I might put both my cavalry up on this flank because this unit of foot artillery is a bit isolated. There we go, everyone's roughly deployed. There's my general, make sure he's deployed somewhere safe. Run! Run away! Run away! I have no idea what it was. I should have checked. Isn't they within not within shrapnel range? Some things are. But I need to be aware that. They will use shrapnel shots on me, so to not get too close. Ooh, I might be able to bring in to lure in some lances. Well, actually, these guys need to do need to fire some shrapnel shot because they have forces moving their way. Okay, so let's, let's get these guys focus firing. Now it's focus firing. These units, because they are shrapnel shotting my troops. These guys are staying off, standing off to. Okay, they're chain. Okay, they're oh, hot on. So let's be smart about this. They're just out of canister range at the minute, the Gurkhas, but that's okay. Bit of a graphic snafu. Okay, you need to start hitting those Gurkhas when they get into range. The other gun team. Work on these elephants. So let's run our light infantry out to deploy stakes. Let's get our cavalry further out on the left. So I think it's unf it's not well, it's not as feasible to hit them with cast shot, so let's focus on other threats. Cavalry coming in. I see canister shot coming in against the cavalry and K 
killing my own man in the process, which I don't want. So it's too late for my guys to form stakes. I don't know what on earth you're doing. So I probably want to get these guys firing canister at the, the marauding cavalry. So I'd like these guys to get back into line to try hit the Gurkhas. Commit my cavalry. So they're going they are going after my light infantry, which is okay. Those chaps on the flank are going to be isolated. Let's protect some of our troops. I'm when it comes to skirmishers, I'm more than happy just to let them just to let them perish. Shoot them. You don't have to smash them. Let's get some cover out of there. Make sure my. No, get back to manning the guns. You run into the armed peasantry, keep the cavalry coming. They're actually doing some damage. This is gonna fire up off. Let's redeploy this gun team's engagement. Focus on that unit of Gurkha that's in pretty good nick. You charge the Gurkhas there. You guys run around to this flank to fire onto the square. Over here, you charge it. Actually, you charge onwards onto the guns. So the cavalry is coming in on this flank. So this gun team comes to shot onto the lances. There's not a lot we can. The only thing we can do is if these guys rout immediately form a square with both of them one inside the other that's an impeccable formation as the can as the kind of shot comes in target the armed peasantry you're alone against the Gurkhas and that's not great the infantry and just let my cavalry do this job as normal. Pull my line back. charge into them and just get out of dodge. Gunners focus on them. Just gonna rifle and scout just to scout the dervishes as they route. We can probably scout the Gurkhas. Generals fleeing. Still targets him with round shots. Specifically, you want to go after the gunners. I mean, look, 
I don't like how my cavalry are running off. Get my cavalry out of dodge. So one of my gun teams is still ready to man his guns against a still ready to man his swords in the face of the threat. Oh, please kill your own cavalry, that'd be hilarious. Let's get you out of dodge, let's bring these guys back. Chase down the Indian Musketeers. To be honest, I start to march up some infantry to go deal with the last troop. The artillery is crashing in. Push up our infantry line. Come on, a good quick bang shot would be the end of them. Oh, that's round shot, isn't it? Charge them from the rear, maybe. Go and bash straight into that unit of Indian Musketeers. Let's commit my general. This could be a bit much for this cavalry unit because that's still a pretty strong unit of troops. So I might just push them straight through. Musketeers, they're just still doing good work against them. It's mostly when they rout, but it doesn't seem like they want to. Target my howitzers to go after this unit, so it might be a bit danger close for the moment. Okay, charge that artillery from the rear. overly concerned about chasing them all down especially as right now they're all fairly I mean okay <laughs> all my artillery is still killing the cuirassiers so I'm to get them to chase after the Hindi musketeers so let's stop all my artillery yeah let's continue it's probably lost a we're going to lose a bunch of them to the spikes. <laughs> Inevitable. And they're not going to get them. I mean, may as well charge after them. What mattered was not was not losing the uh, actually yeah, chase after the musketeers was not bringing in the re the reserve army. That was my goal. Because then that leaves them fresh to carry on. Also, <clears throat> just a second, guys. Um, so I don't mind. I don't really mind how battered this army gets. The main thing was making sure that the my other army did not did not come in, did not get into mischief. So I had a full strength army to push onto another force, and they're going to rout now. Decisive victory it is a bit scrappy, but. First battle of the session, guys. It's down. I always do worse in the first game out. Yeah, that's not bad. 744 lost for almost 3,500. Let's push them back. So you guys... Yes. Stay where you are. Immediately. And drive into them. Yep, that's a fairly 
So, well, it's a nicely dig digestible chunk. They've got large mortars and a great gun. So our cavalry, of which we have lots, is going to be well utilised. The Afghanistan front, where we will then gain numerical superiority, and then just... Then we'll head towards... Oh, I can't remember what the region is. Oh, towards Kashmir. Well, if Kashmir is up, up there, then I can't remember what the... Same difference. Well, at least on a ship. But anyway. Let's put my infantry and my artillery out wide. Howitzers behind ready to fire. Form my infantry line to advance up. Two cavalry on the left. Two cavalry on the right. Union of scouts and infantry, just to act as a bit of a guard for the artillery. General in the middle. Okay. Artillery, go after Okay, hold on. No, you guys form a little line. Okay, you two form square. And these guys are ready to decimate this particular unit. Nope, go after them. Oh wow, that's a lot of dead cavalrymen. I wanted to keep them flat like this so they didn't shoot their carbines into each other's backs. So now when they go in... I mean, there's a bit of fratricide. Chase them down. do this very well. You guys go into the dervishes, this dragoon unit go into the dervishes here. Bit of fratricide from the cannons. Engage. Are camels are down while well, they're routing. Bring out the line. Not so bothered about fighting you. You gun it straight for the mortars. You gun it for the camels because they're routing. What I mean, it's got absolutely blasted by quicklime. Let's form my infantry, such as it is, into squares. Okay, you guys need to get out of there because you're not doing very well at all. They are dervishes, so they do excel in. There we go. So we've got the square going. Form up into the fire into the cavalry. The mortars are done done for. Let's bring those cavalry over onto the flank. Push these guys up ready to engage the elephants to the rear. You go after the dervishes, as will you. Dervishes with everyone else. I have not targeted my artillery once to shoot at anyone. 
this game firing round shot at range so they don't kill my own men. Okay, let's get all my cavalry to halt and let's target them specifically. So this smaller unit form square. A bit of a backwards form square. Okay, you charge down the unit of dervishes, you run on against the armed peasantry, you run on to the mortars. Yeah, they're just lances, they're not going to cause much trouble. Push up on the left, you guys push up over the defences of the previous donors. Get my artillery, I have to have another crack at these guys. And in cavalry, run right in the rear. What could possibly happen? It'd be terrible if shrapnel shot fired at them. Friendly fire, ho, because they're going back into the square. Ooh, it's a miss. Yes, no, it's just hitting my square. Okay. <laughs> it worked, guys. Okay, round shot the general right in the distance. So it seems like it doesn't can't actually target anything useful, especially my foot artillery at least. Let's charge up the final blow. So their cavalry, they're gonna be gone. So bring these cavalry back. These guys. Uh, actually, no, you don't need to go after them. Let's get ready to surround these elephants. Okay, these guys are the final target. I'll cover it up to fire a volley into the elephants. Too bad they fired early. Let's so to reload their carbines. comes in. Could chase down the Desert Warriors, but nah. They're not much of a priority. Desert Warriors aren't that great of a unit. There we go. Now they're starting to fall. The general. Oh, now the general's dead. They got the muskets out. Aha. I mean, Desert Warriors want to stick around. Absolutely continue. Because we're still facing, we're still fighting with that small unit of troops in the, over in the corner, the unit of dervishes. Which should not be that difficult of a sell, especially if there's only one left. So let's hop back to the other combat, which is an absolute slaughter. 
good old dragoons. They know what's up. That wasn't close. How was that close? Rushed arms for slight causes or no causes at all. Let's push them back. Good stuff. This is a larger prospect, so I want to wait for them to replenish a little bit. So these guys... Sir. You, know, you have fought them. Ready and awaiting order. Let's get the cavalry Fire nearby. Yes. Same Watch. with you. So we do have blocking forces on this guy who's making a dash for Esfahan. You Ready. similarly are going to be chased down by the garrison of Zahedan, who needs cavalry. I mean, it's going to take a lot. Uh, company cavalry will do. Doesn't need to be good. It just needs to be chased down their forces as they fall back. So we're sieging lots of places, and we've got we've got lots of options to move up here. So you push up to take the bridge to the north of Hindustan with this army in support. This army is going to push west to here. Not too far, because I still want to maintain some coverage of Bengal. Japan a mill. Didn't raid the university, but whatever, doesn't really matter. Yeah. Okay, Mysore, can I move you out of Mysore? I can indeed. Let's move you up to support Garth, Garth Rackham. He's replenishing, so I don't want to assault with him yet. Ready and awaiting order. You're Ready. not a full army. You are a full army. Probably want to go after them. Ready. So let's move you Ready. just out of range. Anything more? Ready for order. Let's push in. This is a depleted army as well. Lots of guns. They've got rockets. But we have better troops. But as you can see, I believe right now, and they cannot... They're losing forces too much, too quickly. And we'll all finish this campaign fairly soon. Um, in which case I'll be looking to replace it with another world domination campaign. So I've already Denmark world domination because I find that, I think, it's been ages since I fought a campaign where I own all of India. And once I take all of India, that will almost be Denmark completed. But I want to... I'm enjoying it enough. I want to actually fight out some more. The 13 colonies is almost going to be damn near a world domination because it involves taking territories across the world. Um, I think I would be opening this up to another world domination, I think. Mainly because world domination opens up the opportunity to have like big late game enemies. Like with 13 colonies, I'm, the situation in Europe is quite dire. Not dire. It's tough, which is good. Um, but it me I like having you don't, there's nothing worse than getting to the end of the game and realising you've not got like a proper power to fight you at the end. It's a bit it's a bit bleh. So it's nice when the AI's got it's got powerful enough for you to actually kind of go, ooh, this is going to take some doing. Cool. Let's get cracking. Let's extend this out. All these guys insta fire shrapnel shot because they're all going to be in range of something. Oh, you are not. Even a few misses got hold of some good targets. These guys in shrapnel shot can do a lot of damage. The rocket band is routing. Get both my skirmish teams to drop stakes, which is what I should have been doing anyway. So let's bombard the great gun. So, the classic Maratha start of a great cavalry charge. Is ongoing. God, this could trap my shot and get some collateral damage. Two 
Too bad they're going to get my guns. Eh, they do it as a matter. I got guns to spare. Don't bash into them. Okay, these are rockets coming in. You also keep bombarding. No. Gunners, get back to your guns. Go for the barge of the Lancers. Let's get you back in formation. They're going after my cavalry. Go both back to square formation. So they're not going to have much luck there. We can advance this wing up into the trees. Let's push these two units around the hill. These two units up into the woods. That looks like. Yeah, that's quick line friendly fire to me. Not quick line, cast shot friendly fire to me. Okay, let's get you guys running. If I make you guys fire round shot, they will. They'll lob shells in a slightly more friendly manner. At least friendly for my own troops. It's a quick look at the breach loading right from the scouts. They do look rather lovely. I'm not too happy about leaving their stakes behind. But look at these chumps. Let's let them commit. And then let's drop you into square next to them. Let's get you guys out of this formation. Dervishes are coming in. Come on, Lancers. You've been getting shot to bits from artillery for long enough. Those guns aren't even facing the right way. Dervishes are broken. Charge you into the Hindu warriors with you. But we are getting our troops up against... Oh wow, run, 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 run. That's a big old... Big old bit of shrapnel shot there. The elephants have come in. They've lost a lot of men. And they are routing. Good stuff. Let's push them up. Yeah, they can dismantle the great gun. Let's force them off of the terrain. Not the general, thank you. Let's tidy up this line a little bit. Hello, what's this? These guys, the volley. They're going to take down the Kandari horsemen. The 
withering fire of scouts at relatively point blank range. Yes, run through the spikes, please. Got him. Bring you back. Cavalry's gone. Square did break. It's the rocket troop or it's the foot artillery. Says you're having a right old time with. Can you go that way? Don't know where those your actual gunner troops are. Probably back here somewhere. And now's the time. There's only this unit of dervishes left. They are probably not going to stand for very long. When I say probably, I mean I won't. Stop the artillery fire. Charge them in. Let's get my cover over here to chase down the gunners. Chase down the Seaman's Keteers. Temptations to go for the dervishes, but these are just too tasty a target. I don't want, didn't want to charge. I'm just not getting through. Let's get infantry out of the way. So I can get my cavalry through. Royal Infantry Guards. La -de -da. Let's have a look at you. Probably lose some lances to musket fire from them, but they're not gonna change the price of fish and provide a tantalizing target to kill with cavalry when the time comes. Okay, let's speed up time a little bit. I've got the feeling I've been too keen with their placement. Let's go after. Go after the Union of Dervishes. No, actually, stay here ready to deal with this unit of guardsmen. They're not going to be around for long. Absolutely continue. Speed up time, just let them let the volleys fire. Don't have any scouts, do I? Nope. It's got my generals chasing down sea musketeers. This might require a bit of manipulation. Kill them all in the right places. They've routed, so you come all the way over here. Not that it will probably be necessary. Okay, they shouldn't. I don't think they're too. There's some around here, but they shouldn't be too split up now. going to route. Damn! Both of them probably across the river. 500 lost for 1600. They've got, six, they've got 650 remaining. Forward. So your what? job will probably be to maintain pressure on Forward. them. At the you are probably going to head to the plantations. I think sir. you are probably going to go hit. Make ready, sir. Your orders. Okay, let's move. You to just within range. Gifford into Anilinda. I mean, it's calling it a 50-50, 50-50 chance. I'm looking at the timer. I believe that's the end of this part. So, 
Thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for more destruction of Maratha forces. Cheers everyone.